Hi, I'm Sunita Vera from the Raw Foods Center. Thank you for coming to my kitchen here in Chicago and I'm very excited to share with you how to make uh, almond milk. It's very easy and we're gonna get started right here. I have these almonds here which have been soaked overnight and you want to really rinse them well because they, um, the water gets kind of muddy. So um, rinse them really good and um, that gets rid of, rid of all the enzyme inhibitors and now we are all ready to go. These have been rinsed a few times and we're going to put them, you can use any household blender. I love using the Vitamix and we're going to put, this is about a cup of almonds that have been soaked overnight and I'm going to add some water and the ratio I like to do is one cup of, one cup of almonds to three cups of water. So I'm going to add the water right here. And I don't add all of it all at once because the blender has to work through too much fluid. So I'm going to just add a little bit first and then add some more later. And let's pop the lid up there. Okay, and now we're going to add the rest of the water, which is right here. Okay, so we're going to use a nut milk bag, which I have right over here. Um, and you can use a strainer, you can use mesh, uh, whatever you like. I just like using a nut milk bag because it gets all the pulp out. Because it's all about the texture. If it's pulpy, nobody's going to really enjoy the almond milk. So we're going to do that. Take this right off here. And let's pour this in here. And then I like this because you can just use the drawstring right over here. And then I'm going to get my gloves on here. And we've got beautiful almond milk coming out here. Kind of like going back to the old days of milky cacao. Except this is non-dairy almond milk. Almonds are very high in protein really good for shakes and smoothies and absolutely delicious and I'm going to show you how to make it absolutely delicious. So here I want to show you what it looks like. See that? That's your pure almond milk. So now you have the beautiful almond milk and we're just going to season it and I'll show you how to season it. You can use it just like that if you like, but I usually like to add um, a little bit of flavor into it. But if you want to use it for coffees or milkshakes, this is ready to go. But this is what I like to do. I like to add a little bit of coconut oil, about a tablespoon. And I like to sweeten it with dates. So these are two pitted dates that I'm putting in here. And I put a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. Um, it just bumps up the flavor profile, just makes it taste, has a better taste to it with a little bit of salt. And I'm going to put vanilla extract, a little bit of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then, and you can sweeten with maple syrup. Or I've got actually coconut sugar here, so I'm going to add the coconut sugar. Okay, it's a little sticky. Okay. And we're going to just blend it all up, and that's your flavored seasoned almond milk that you can keep in the fridge for um, two to three days. So let's just blend this up really fast. That's wonderful almond milk. That's your almond milk. I'm going to take a taste. Mmm, it is delicious. So, what I like to do once I make my milk is I put it into a nice glass jar. And I store it in the refrigerator. And there you have it. That's your almond milk.
Now that we have our delicious almond milk together, we're gonna to make chocolate almond milk with this, a nice chocolate yummy shake. So take our blender and uh, we're gonna put some almond milk. I'm just gonna make a little bit, so I'm gonna use all of it. Keep that almond milk there. And I'm um, gonna add some frozen bananas. So when you have ripe bananas and you don't know what to do with them, Peel them and then put them in little baggies and freeze them in your refrigerator. And they're great as thickeners and smoothies. And just add a little bit more sweetness. Bananas are great for potassium. So we're just going to add it into the blender here. And for the chocolate, I'm using a combination of um, raw cocoa powder, which is cacao powder and caro powder. I like to use a combination of the two because cacao is very high. Uh, it's got caffeine in it, but it's also one of the richest antioxidants on the planet, period. So I like to use that and I like to mute it a little bit with um, the caro powder, which is very high in calcium. So together, high in magnesium, which is the cacao powder, high in calcium, which is caro. It's a really nice mix. And we're going to add the um, powders right here. If you don't have that, you can also use um, cocoa powder, but this is completely raw and it's really loaded with benefits. So it's really a fun one. And I'm going to just blend this all up. When the gritty sound stops, that means it's nicely blended. So I'm going to stop with that. And I'll show you how to create, I like to create my own Starbucks experience. So at home. So what I do is I pour this in here. Nice rich chocolate milk, and then I like to add a little bit of carob powder. This is all about what it looks like before you drink. You know, we eat with the eyes first. So if you want to get close up of this, and you can watch me see this, um, I'm just using the strainer and just lightly. Here we go. Get the carob powder on top, a dusting of carob powder. And I like to put a little bit of cacao nibs. So that gives it a little bit of a texture. And you've got a really yummy, delicious chocolate milk right here. And this one is actually good for you. Thank you for joining me. Visit us on our website and Facebook and follow us on Instagram for our latest creations. And I hope you'll enjoy this with your family. Thank you.